good evening and welcome to the Schlocky Horror Picture Show. I'm your host, Nigel Honeybone. I have a confession to make. I love old movie trailers. I'm not talking the 1930s Universal movies here. I mean the real stuff. Authentic exploitation. The science fiction horrors of the 50s and 60s. The powers that be that allowed such films to flourish developed an amusing but effective system. First of all, the producers would come up with a marketable title. Then the poster art would be created around said title. Next, the poster art would be run by the film distributors. Only if they showed interest in booking such a film would the actual movie be written and produced, resulting in films like The Beast with a Million Eyes and I Married a Monster from Outer Space. Of course, such titles are still being produced today, but now it's for camp value only, like Snakes on a Plane, Kids Go Into the Woods, Kids Get Dead, or The Lights Have Gone Out, Let's Split Up. Not so in the golden era, back when films tended to be a straightforward presentation of what the title promised, like I Was a Teenage Werewolf and Attack of the 50-Foot Woman. One such title is our presentation tonight, Werewolf in a Girl's Dormitory, which promises both violence and sex all tied up in one little neat package. In fact, being an Italian-Austrian co-production, it had several excellently suggestive titles, including Ghoul in a Girl's Dormitory, I Married a Werewolf, Monster Among the Girls, The Ghoul in School, and Lycanthropus. It's salacious, look it up. But the title it has tonight is Werewolf in a Girl's Dormitory. Let's see if it lives up to its name. <laughs> 